Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Donjo number EL-115-630-RC. This is a two and a quarter inch extended lip strike with a quarter inch radius corner and a satin stainless steel finish. Now let's remove the uh, strike from the packaging and take a little closer look at it. We're going to discuss it, what it is, where you use it. Okay, if you use your imagination, you can see why we call it a D strike, the letter D. It's also probably more correctly referred to as a full lip strike. This is the EL extended lip dash 115, and the 115 is a reference to the size of the strike, and it's an inch and a half strike, and when we measure it, it doesn't measure inch and a half in the overall width, it's two inch, but strikes, all strikes in fact, are measured from the center line of the screw hole to the edge of the lip. Okay, and that's where the inch and a half comes in. The product name called it out at two and a quarter, and that's the height. The 630 means stainless steel. This is a solid piece of stainless and a brushed finish. And then the RC, lastly, in the part number, stands for radius corner. That is a rounded corner there, and that's a quarter inch radius. And the way by which that is accomplished is when the door manufacturer is uh, routing the jam, automated most likely, uh, or by hand. They've got a half inch diameter uh, router bit. And when you don't go back and square those corners out, you're left with a quarter inch radius. And mill shops, door manufacturers, you know, anyone that you'd buy a jam from or a, or a pre-hung from, uh, they'll opt for a quarter inch radius only because it's for time uh, saving uh, reasons. Uh, the process of automating the squaring of corners is actually quite complicated uh, when it comes to machinery. So you'll very often see radius corners, especially when there's a factory making the material that is making, let's say, a thousand units a day, that sort of scenario. Screws will be included in a complementary finish. Now, where are you going to use such a strike? Well, you're going to use it where you have a condition by which you've got a little thicker casing than normal. A standard strike size is about an inch and a quarter, maybe inch and five sixteenths. So this is slightly, you know, about a quarter inch greater than standard. Very common. Uh, you would use it because, again, your casing would be thicker or perhaps your door is inset deeper into the frame than standard. Imagine if you stand on the pull side of the door and you run your hand over the face of the door and the frame, the door's moved in ever so slightly like about 3 30 seconds of an inch. Well, imagine if that dimension was, for some reason, uh, a quarter inch or 3 eighths of an inch. You would certainly need a strike basically exactly like this. You could have that condition easily as if you added jam extensions onto an opening. So if you're building a home and the walls are based on 4 and 9 16 jams, except that they used thicker drywall on one side or for whatever reason had to put plywood reinforcing on the wall and then drywall over it. I could imagine a scenario where you have a bathroom and you have done some remodeling and you're going to float cabinets to the shelves. It's very common that that drywall is going to come off. You're going to reinforce the walls and then drywall back over it. Well, now you've got a 4 and 9 16 jam. That's no good. Uh, and you can get jam extensions. Uh, and place them on there. They're just pieces of wood that will make the jam appear to be uh, a deeper depth. Uh, you're going to need an extended lip strike is the bottom line. And f for that matter, you might need wide throw hinges as well. And sometimes those items go hand in hand and we can help you with wide throw hinges to boot. Okay, now moving on with the strike, we've talked about what it is, where you're going to possibly use it. There is a link below this video to a document called Product Catalog, and uh, forgive me, let's back up. There's a link below this video first to the template, and that will give you all of the dimensional properties beyond what I've supplied, uh, like the size of the hole. It will also refer to the other finishes that are made and available. You can have, forgive me, you can have 605 for polished brass, 609 for antique brass, 619 for satin nickel, 620 for antique nickel, 630, such as seen here, stainless steel, and DU finish, which would be a dark bronze 
powder coated paint over stainless, but not always, but almost always over stainless. If you're going to powder coat something, you'll powder coat the least expensive base material. And that DU finish will help be complementary with your oil rubbed bronze type hardware. Now, there is the second link below this video to a document called Product Catalog that will allow you to review all of the extended lip strikes uh, from Donjo and other strikes. If it's a strike, it's in that catalog. So you probably want to review that so that you can get a better overall sense of what is actually available. But not that you need to dig deeper if this is just simply the strike, and it probably is. If you need about an extra quarter inch and it's two and a quarter and you've got radius and you've got satin chrome or nickel hardware, this is the strike for you. Okay. Finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Don Joe products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. If you have any questions on the Don Joe, this is their part number EL-115-630-RC, two and a quarter inch extended lip strike with a quarter inch radius corner and a satin stainless steel finish, or any other Don Joe product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you very much.